Okay, so I'm going to do the interview, not interview, but review for Future Steve Visible Part. Let's find wig Tana in the color SO8671. The SO stands for Sombre. The Sombre is like Ombre mixed with something else. I forgot what the S of the Sombre stands for. Anywho, um, the color is, yeah, I'll tell you the color. Now, I'm going to show you the color right now. So 613, the 27, and it looks like it's some 30 in there, right? Here's the 613 highlights. I like that. It looks like a violage where it's like a deep violage at the front. And then the dark roots, the dark roots isn't thick. They have dark roots at the perimeter, but it's not a thick perimeter. Like the um, Donna wig, like that, it had a thicker perimeter, right? Um, there's like a pretty thickness when it comes to dark roots. It's not just like one track or so. It's about a couple inches, see that? That's pretty nice, I like that. Um, for the lighting, for the for the curls, here you go. It's uh pretty long. I'm five five, and so here the curls start right here. I didn't run my fingers through it. Well, I did it a little bit right now, but like really the run my fingers in it. So what you see is pretty much out the box, right? I'm gonna turn around just to see to show you what it looks like outside the box, and um and then I'll probably finger comb it to get it to my liking because I don't like this right here. This swoop in my face. Like that, I don't like that. I like it like a little bit away from my face. Yeah. Um. Okay. So let's go like that. Front and the side and the back. So you can see all the color. Okay. So again and right there. Here's a parting. No, I don't know if y'all can see that, but. It's a skin top and then it goes into the lace. So it's not all skin top and it's not all lace. So that's the mod for that. And if you wanna make it a less than perfect part and just tweak some. I kinda like it, it's not as sharp, but yeah, you could just do that tweet, the pull method with the tweezers. Um, let me see. I haven't experienced any shedding, which is nice. Cause it didn't shed out the box. I can't tell you anything about tangles. I'm gonna collect finger comb it now. Nope, no tangles yet. Of course, I know when I wear it and there'll be tangles, but not now. I'm not gonna play with it too much because I'm not gonna wear it right now. Just doing it for initial review to get to a little bit more to my liking. So I don't want it too factory looking. I like, I like crisp curls, like. I don't like it too and if I had a curling iron I would probably like make these tighter or something like that or maybe like I don't know but I don't like I don't like stuff right here like eh I just don't like it yeah that's like a halo or something Okay, and it's layered. You can see. Let me see if I forgot anything. So I got shine. It's pretty good. I like it. It's like salon fresh air. Um, to me, it doesn't. It's not shiny. Thick or thin. It's a nice density. It's not. Well, I wouldn't say it's thin, but it's not thick either. So. So it's not like thin thin where I want to do a rent video because I would do one. Uh, color got that hairline that doesn't come with baby hair in the front, but it does come with baby hair in the back. And I'll show you when I can do the inside the wig cap thing. Um, part, show you that root, show you that length, and the ear ear. The inner ear is pretty decent. So I like this wig and I will buy it again, especially if they have it. I don't think they have it in the color I like, but I, I really I like this wig. 
I know we'll get it again. I wish I had it in the um the old seventeen or that other color. But anywho, um, I'm gonna show y'all the inside the camera. Tana wig is like one and a half inch of a visible of the skin part, and here's the comb side. It's above the ear, as you see there, and they have the um comb right here, and neck to the neck, and the baby hair right here. Okay. Yeah, sorry for the gun chewing, but here is a here's what she looks like in like more fluorescent lighting because my bathroom is warm lighting. 